Hey everybody, my name is Chef Marcus Samson, and today we're actually cooking one of my favorite chickens. It's a fried chicken that we're gonna to toss in a chocolate sauce. Yes, you heard it right, chocolate sauce. One of my secrets is our chicken shake. It is delicious, I put it on everything. So this dish really comes from my love for fried chicken. You might have heard of it. We have a place called Red Roost, and where the bird is king. Now just give it a good old shake. Sometimes I call it chicken snow, and you get it. This is absolutely delicious. So I got water, I'm gonna bring this to a boil, with salt, and then when it's cooled down, we're gonna pour it on top of the chicken. I love to brine my chicken. If you wanna really juice a bird, there's a couple of steps you wanna do. Bone in, dark meat, and brine the bird. Put a lid on, let it sit minimum two hours or overnight. So, the marinade, I love this marinade. So I did this dish with my buddy James, who actually did this sauce on a beef brisket, and it was so good. And James, he just loves Mexican food, and I love Mexican food. So we took the chocolate sauce that we love with fried chicken, married the two together, toss, toss, there it is. Key step, the chocolate sauce. And this chocolate sauce is so rich and delicious, and you're gonna see why. It's all about the spices and flavor that we're gonna add on to this dish. Food, for me, is all about flavor, but making great flavors takes time. Got a little bit of heat here. I'm gonna add in the chilies, and add in as much as you like. It's a rich sauce, right? So it's beer, chocolate, spices, all simmer together. We're gonna let this simmer. And then, we're gonna add in chocolate and butter. This sauce is good for any type you want to grill or you want to fry something. I will brush the sauce on top, it will be delicious. So, I'm gonna dredge it. The semolina and the cornstarch, they're all there for flour. They're all there to make it crunchier. So we're just gonna whisk that. I love seasoned oil. I'm just putting a little bit of garlic. When I heat up the oil, just putting big garlic cloves in and then I'm taking them out, just for flavor. Right? And it's 12 minutes, then let it rest. The resting part is key, so it stays nice and juicy. We got a beautiful chocolate sauce in there, right? Look at that. Nice, this is so delicious. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of heat, and then we're gonna finish to brighten up with a little bit of fresh herbs. I love eating this dish with my friends, right? Because it's a dish where I talk about finger smacking, finger licking good because it's rich and delicious, and it's also something to do in spring and summer, right? You wait for those picnics, you wait for those barbecues. Everyone in your family is gonna love this meal, I guarantee you. All right, guys, come in and eat. Are we ready, are we excited? Oh my God. Come on. Really good. Bird for you, ladies right. first. Oh, you okay. And you want that crunch. You want this yep. like, mmm, mmm. Mm. Get that chocolate lipstick, mmm. Oh my God. I've got the chocolate lipstick, mm. yeah. Mm. Good, right? Mm. 